Hi, my name is Larry Jordan, and welcome to this Power Up webinar, taking a look at the new audio repair features inside Adobe Audition Creative Cloud called the CC release, which will be coming out a little bit later in June. Audition has been known for a long time for its ability to repair audio, but some of the new features inside this latest release are amazing, and I can't wait to show them to you. If you're new to Audition, an overview of using Audition is really helpful because I'm not going to explain the interface at all. So you might want to consider watching Webinar 69, Editing Audio in Adobe Audition CS6. The interface between CS6 and CC is close enough that you can start there and easily pick up the Creative Cloud release. For an initial look at audio repair, also watch Webinar 91, Audio Repair in Adobe Audition CS6. There are some techniques that work in both CS6 and CC that I'm not going to repeat in this lesson. Both of these titles are available at LarryJordan.biz store. And we're already at work creating new Audition training to support the Creative Cloud release, which is coming in June. Adobe Audition is known for its ability to repair audio. And the Creative Cloud release provides even more repair capability. We're going to divide today's webinar into three sections. The first is filters that we can use to set levels. Neither of these are new, but one of them I'm using in new ways, and they're both important, so I want to spend a little bit of time explaining them to you. Part two shows how to measure and meter audio, and here the Creative Cloud release has added significant measurement and metering options, which can make a big difference in having your audio sound good. And the third part, where we'll spend the most of our time, are new features that allow us to repair audio in new ways. There's some really cool features here, and the new sound remover is amazing. So let's get ourselves started. Something I found that opens up the sound a little bit better is the multiband compressor. To delete a filter, highlight it, press the delete key. And again, I've selected the master track, and I'm adding multiband compressor. This is a much more intimidating interface, much more going on, and I understand very little of it. I don't mess with these settings at all. Instead, I go with the preset, and I select the broadcast preset, which tends to maximize the loudness of the sound. What it does is it's divided our audio into four bands, low frequency, medium low human voice, medium high human voice, and high human voice, which makes it possible. These are the two bands that we care about the most, the two in the middle. So rather than amplifying the entire clip, it amplifies it by frequency. I don't know what these settings do, and frankly, I don't care. There's only two settings that I need to worry about, margin and gain. What margin is, is the loudest our audio will be. Whether I'm using the hard limiter or if I'm using the multiband compressor, if there's only one person talking at a time, there's no sound effects, there's no music, I will set the limit to negative 3 dB. If, on the other hand, it's part of a mix where I've got people talking and sound effects and music, I'll set the margin to negative 4.5. That extra little 1.5 dB of gain gives me room to put in sound effects and music and yet still keep my voices nice and loud. In this particular case, I'm going to just work with a negative 3 value for the margin. Then I adjust the gain. If I want to make it louder, I push this up. If I need to make it softer, I push this down. What I'm doing is I am compressing the louder passages and making them a shade softer, the soft passages and making them a shade louder, such that they all tend to hover between negative 3 and negative 6. Let's press the home key and set the gain to zero and spacebar. Duran Gleaves is the product owner of, for Adobe Audition, not surprisingly at Adobe Systems, and audio is something that is near and dear to my heart. Welcome, Duran. Hi, thanks. Again, what the compressor does is it still gives me a nice open sound to my audio, brings up the softer passages, pulls down the louder passages, and decreases the, the dynamic range between the two of them. I've, over the last two to three months, pretty much switched all of my audio compression work from the hard limiter to the multiband compressor, because I think the multiband compressor's got a more open, freer, more natural sound. You can pick the one that works the best for you. Neither of these features are new with the CC release, but I haven't had a chance to talk about the multiband compressor before, and I wanted to show you what it did at the very start of this webinar. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. 
You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 500 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week, and for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on the new audio repair features inside Adobe Audition Creative Cloud. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.biz slash store and look for webinar 100.